Suddenly. Is it green? Is it green? It is green. Seven, five, four, three. We're gonna go live, sir. Are you ready? Are you ready? Test, test, test. Testing. One, one, one. No, let me pass all the door. Before I start, before I start, a big thank you for everybody that has subscribed. I'm 20 subscribers away. It's amazing. Thank you guys. 20 more subscribers. I get my custom URL. Before it was free and not that such a big need, but now this custom URL is like, woo, let's get this custom URL. Before I had, I think I had like 20 of them. I still got 20 channels for no reason. I just pop them every week for an idea and I never started YouTube. Anyway, that's not the subject. Thank you. Thank you. And if you're new, if you're new, guys, please subscribe. Hit the button. Help me out. Do a click. Now a little thing, I'm going to create an Amazon wish list. That may be stubborn, but it's a chance, I hope. Uh, if anyone can support me in any way how, buy me at least a, a pipe or a screw or a screwdriver or anything. I'm trying to build my own custom PC because rendering on this doesn't work. It's too slow. Even with the proxies and, and uh, yeah, the proxies, it doesn't work. It's a nightmare. Please, if you can, I'm not asking, at least well, the, the subscribe button and a like, 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 not dislike, please. It'll sort of ruin me. Not really. Um, but yeah, if you, if they will have a wish list on Amazon, if anything, if guys, you've got, you can buy me a five pound, uh, no, uh, buy me some screws so I can screw the computer and hopefully I can some, one day I'll be able to build my own PC with all the support. Anyway, well, back to the subject. Outputs and inputs. How do you speak to your children? Now, this is not an educational of how do you speak to your children. I can build a whole different YouTube channel as a dad, but this is about Angular and React. How do you do data binding? How do you speak to your children? I assume here you are only because of the reason you're learning Angular or React, and you're thinking, can a person explain you both, fra both framework and the language? Learned that from a comment someone said. From a framework and a, and a, framework and a library, uh, explain at the same time how do you build components? Well, today, guys, I want to talk about how do you pass data to the child, and how do you Render the data as a dumb component in React and in Angular. Let's kick it off. La caramba. You should see. You should see my screen. If you have clicked from a video from previously, man. Thank you. It's appreciated. Let's kick this off. Git status. Empty, empty, empty. Okay, so this is lesson four. Apparently. Output and input, right? We want to talk about. Well, let's kick it off with Angular. Um, I'll expand it. Easier to read. Easier to read the fonts, right? Um, you guys remember we had the components, the dumb component of navigation, the containers, um, layout, which is the structure of the page, um, services. Mm, that was a good thing to, to talk about as well. I wanted. To, I'm very interested to talk about services. Um, Photo header. Right, which will basically accept some dumb data. Um, boom, boom, boom. Footer. And we have a dumb component called navigation in Angular. So, what can we do? Let's talk about the dumb components. How do you pass data to a Angular? So, in let's go to Angular documentation. Angular .io. and the search input, a marvelous API. There, inputs. Decorate header marks a class field as an input property and supplies configuration metadata. The input property is bound to a DOM property in the template. During template change detection, Angular automatically updates the data property with the DOM property's value. Uh, this didn't make sense for me, but I'll explain you. Hopefully, I can explain what this actually means. So, back to the app. Whoop, whoop. Back to the app. So, we run that we ran the application now. Let's have a look at the application local. Local host. Okay, so there you go. You've got navigation. Why does it show HTML? App navigation is loading me HTML. It's either I'm not done. Ah! Because I said here, I forgot from the previous lesson, template. 
If you're on render the, the um, HTML, you need template URL to get the file. Runs. Okay, so what do we do now? We want to talk about how do you, well, so, so inputs. Back to the logic. So an input is basically you can pass the data. In React, you would normally do through props, right? Which you, I'll get to the props in a second, but you do it through the, uh, through, you bind it through here. So what we do is normally you have a, some kind of a, you need a name, let's give it a name, and that could be menu list, right? And then you bind it to some data. You can have here one, you can have here A, B, C. And that's what you're going to do is basically you're going to pass in menu, so you're passing in through the menu list input a data called ABC, which is an array in app navigation. Now, if I save this, this is going to kick an error. It should give me an error. There it is. The error is this is a very famous error. A lot of people have it because when they learn, they get errors. I don't know how to close this one. I, I should learn some stuff. Ah! I learned it. Uncaught error, template parse error, can't bind to menu list since it isn't a known property of app navigation. Can't bind, that's the big thing. Data binding, this is what everybody's almost talking about, data binding. How do you bind data to the app navigation selector? So can't bind it. So straight away figure out if the app navigation is part of Angular component, list it. Um, and if it has menu list input, then verify it. So what it actually is saying is, okay, you've defined it here, now you're going to go to your app navigation, and this is the thing. This is an input that you're going to specify, and that's how you specify them. And then you have to specify the same name as you did in the footer, which is menu list. And in straight away, you need to import it from Angular Core. Bingo, menu list is imported. You can always set the default here, like that. But you don't do that normally. What you do is you import it. And you actually you type uh, type it so you would say this is actually an array. For now, just gonna be a string and array. Yeah. And now it's still gonna be an error. And that, if you remember from previous lesson, is what's the new error? You must have an error. It's interesting they didn't pick up. Is the compiler picking up? I'm used to that you should pick me up because, oh, it's not me, I should pick up the error, but in footer I've got app navigation, but in the header I'm not specified this prop. Hence why it should have given me the error, because I'm reusing the same component, and that's what I'm requesting. I'm out of interest, just see if I can compile it again, if you pick it up. Didn't pick up. Strange. Okay, so we're talking about passing data into it. So menu list gets passed in. I in the input field receive the menu list, and now I can use it in HTML. So you can go to your navigation HTML component, and there's two things you can console log out. Double curly bracket braces. You do menu list, and you can do this uh, pipes. So pipes in Angular allows you to call out a lot of different pipes and one of them is the JSON pipe that allows you to list it into a JSON and actually you can list it out like this. Pretty makes it more beautiful. Look at that. A, B, C. Now we want to also want to render the same thing in the header. We want to receive menu list and actually can pass in a different data. It can be uh, one, two, I've never get it happens to be that has already been closed by another tag. Did I not close the tag? Oh, I forgot this thing. You need to wrap it. So passing is a error into uh, I'm trying to sign it, I'm not passing it correctly. So just delete these errors that were from previous ones. And then you got one, two, three here, and ABC here. Menu on top, menu in full if you remember. So how about we, instead of doing this, we can go in the header now and actually specify. You can write public when you write the variables. You may not write public, um, by default signs it public. So, so you can create a name list, which should be home about us. 
Now you normally do these kind of menus, uh, dumb components um, in CMS, simple web application clients. When you're building a more complex uh, enterprise application, those menus would be actually, you wouldn't have a menu component. If you would have, you would actually have it already listed and you would just swap the menus. You wouldn't pass in a list of menu names. You maybe would have passed in if you would have a client that says I want a custom menu that is uh, that pulls it from the API the menu uh, paths and then it renders it. So let's say here, which I'm trying to show right now is in the header component I've got menu list home about us contact us, but in the footer component it actually would be so I, I named the same variable but I could say I just could list this menu. It's much more cleaner just menu here, or I just can say header menu. And then here, so footer menu, right? These are my variables. And home, T's and C's, about us, T's and C's, private policy, right? So the footer menu component, I'll pass, I'll go to my HTML and I'll bind it like this. The same for the header, copy, put the header, paste. What will happen now is the header will have home about us, contact us, and the footer will be home, price, policy, and T's and C's. I think I might as well add is how do you loop it through? So app navigation receives, they might, receives the menu list, and now you have a menu list. All right. Uh, in Angular, you can, in Angular, in Angular, you can do a list. Now, this is thing comes from common module, Angular common module, if you remember. Common module or browser module, do, 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 do. Here in imports browser module, these are the ones that come with it, and that is URL. You do just gonna enlarge it, enlarge it so that and close this URL. You do ng if I should do ng if ng ng4 let item of this list. So you're looping through. For every item of this menu list, console log me out, company log me out, item. Your basic ng4 loop. There you go, and it loops it out. That one from the top is because I put the JSON. So there you show, that's how you render a list. That's how you pull in data from uh, input and then you render it. So for ng4, for every item in my new list, render it. These ng4s, ng4s, ngifs is Angular's customs, um, I think they're called directives. Let's look at it because let's look it up. Ngif, as they're called, I think they're called custom directives. Not custom directives, they're called a structural directive that is conditionally includes a template based. Structural directives. The idea is that it, it, it changes the structure of your HTML. So it loops through or ngif is to show or not hide. Um, so if there's an idea you can do ngifs, I'll do it in another lesson. So that's how you do the ng4 loops. Very simple in Angular. In React, I like in React, in React. Let's run the. In React, is something called props. They call it props. They call it props, and let's see, and localhost 3000. This is our previous app, dashboard product user, dashboard product user at the bottom. I think I'm running back to a different app. Let me stop it. Somewhere. Silly me, I am running the right app. It's just, I can't remember. It's the menu items, dashboard, product. I'm gonna turn these to URLs because they're a little bit confusing me because I thought that's a component trying to load there. I can't remember it. Should be bad. Ah, I forgot the URL here. Okay, okay. There's my menu list on the top and the bottom. Yeah, and we showed how to reuse the same in the header and footer. Now the question is, how do you pass data to it? Come on, Chris, get to this. Get 
get to the stuff. Menu. Well, first what I can do is I define it here. My menu in the footer component is gonna be a B. Oh, I can change what about home about me and contact me. Beautiful. Now I can pass it in through menu. I can say the same name, but I can do this could be menu um, list. It's much more easier for to understand. Menu list, assign it to menu list. This here is props. You get it through props. That's how I call it. Let's see, because what I've done here is I passed in the prop for navigation in the footer, because the footer is a parent, the um, navigation is a child dump component. What did React do? Can't believe it. Before I used to kick out errors. I I swear I could, it was errors. It's nothing. Cool. So, and just keep crying about the logo. I'm not using the app.js. Let me see the app.js. There you go. Component is defined but never used. Navigation.js. Let's kick that off as well. Yeah, senorita. Feed is there. Okay, no errors. But you can still, the point is, I'm trying to say they're not showing me the errors, it's important for me. So I'm using my props in my footer here, but not in my um, header here. Yeah, I also got navigation here. Header and footer using navigation, the same in with the same in React. But Chris, get to the point. How do you pass in? Props. You pass into the function because this is a function. You pass it in here, props. They don't have any fancy pipes or anything like that. They keep it in raw. Props, and then let's see. Oh, so yeah, I can see my menu array with three items. Beautiful. How do I now render it through this list through in React? Now, in React, the logic is totally different. I mean, totally different. It's a little bit different how you write it here. Um, if you see return here, I'm returning the JSX here. Um, in React, you can do this thing. If you can see. One, for example, I'm doing a simple uh, basic one equals, is one equal to one? You say yes or no. So you can do some logic right there in your JSX. Oops, no. Have a look, yes, no. So yes, yes, basically you can see the one equals one. So you, you can write logic straight away here in these curly braces. Now we know we've got props and we know we have props at menu because the menu is the thing that we're coming in from here. Menu list it gets bind to menu list get bind to well the menu list is the property it gets bind to the menu property so the property dot props dot menu is the one that we're looking for is it menu yeah menu and then the thing is you can do map which you map you iterate through the items for every item that's inside map. And whoop, come on, Chris. You return an item like that. Props with it returns it. Just delete this. Now remember, in header we have menu. In footer we don't. So this should give me an error. Who was the error? Map it undefined. It's undefined because one of them is undefined. The header function that is using, uh, it doesn't have, it doesn't pass me a menu. So what can I do? Well, I can do this. I can be very cheeky about it and say, well, if there is props, render me this, please. If there isn't, nothing to render. It could be more nice just empty, but this is something you have to get used to in React. It's very, I don't like it. It's, I, I don't like it because it's a little bit ugly for me. Um, but you can do this straight away here, mix it up with HTML. And, well, nothing to render here in the header, but in the footer I can render you. I'm just going to clean this up because it's from the previous errors. Each child as list should have a unique key. Ooh, look at these fancy pants. React wants me to have a prop key for every item they're rendering. Why, why are you actually asking me? Well, they're asking me because when it renders, it needs to uh, locate the DOM element. So what it does when React renders, it assigns its unique um, the keys to each of the elements. In Angular, you must have seen it as well, I assume. Home. 
You can see ng content p q i. It's it's on the encrypted thing, but it does it. So here's a unique key for this each of the elements. So what you can do is here just do key, and like in map, always pass a, you can pass an item and then you can pass an index. So you can pass in um, the count like this, and the index can be like this here. So you're passing a key, an index, a unique key. Refresh this. Oh, it's already open. Should refresh. Um, no issues. All clean. Working. Header working. Footer working. That's basically it. That's how you pass props into um, React. So how do you pass data into a child, into a component in React? And Sean Angular, how do you pass data into an Angular component and an render list in Angular? And how do you render list in how do you render a list in React? My mouth is mumbling. Um, by the way, I have to run off. I've got parents that just arrived yesterday and uh, landed, and now they're enjoying. They want to enjoy some lunch. I'm going to wrap this up quickly today. Publish it for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, Please, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, likes, all that stuff. I'm going to push this all to Angular and React GitHub's um, URL is below. Please, big favor, if you can, subscribe and like the videos. Helps me out a lot. I hope the Zoom worked this time. This, I've got a new lens, um, Sony 1.4 uh, G Master. Um, it's hopefully the light. Picks up the light better, the Zoom is better, and it's not keep zooming in and keep shaking off. Speaking too fast, but basically that's it. I hope you guys see you in the next lesson, and don't forget to watch the next video. Should be linked somewhere up here. Cheers. Bye bye. See ya.